Hi and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're just going to have a look at cleaning the jet ski and flushing the engine. Um, I've got a 5-5 technique that works for me. Everyone's got a different technique. I'll just show you what I do. Um, so this one, when you buy any of these sort of products like Salty Captain or Salt Away, um, you generally get one that is for the engine flush uh, and one that is, it's like a detergent for, you know, before the actual ski itself to get rid of any, any sand and salt and everything. Um, so in the 5-5 technique, there's five things. There's, you get this gun with one of those packs and um, we just got a bit of tubing from Bunnings and literally a connection on the end that goes into the back of the ski, um, which is the same as any normal garden hose. Um, that one there, so I'll show what we do with that. So the five things are, one is your gun and plastic, so you can see the, the um, detergent going through and the water going through the plastic tube, Jojo knowledge. Two, a ladder, because we want to elevate it later on. Um, three, something like something like this one, Salty Captain, um, or what is that one? Yeah, that's, yeah, Salty, Salty Captain. Captain. Uh, and a gurney, four, and trust the old Suckomatic 5, but you can use a sponge. This is just what I do. Um, so I'm going to go and show you the first step, which is just flushing the engine. So, Okay, so with this one, first of all, so we're going to, with the gun, we're going to use the engine flush, which is this one here. And we'll just put in a bit of that. Okay, so we're going to attach this to the flushing port just in here. That's ready to go. So very, 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 very important. You need to turn on the engine first before you let any water go through it. Okay. Okay, the engine's on. Now you can see see I'm running this through the engine also very important to not let the engine run more than 15 seconds um, before you get water into it so you'll see it start coming out the bottom so you want to run for about 30 seconds 20 to 30 seconds with the flushing with the uh, engine flush and then we're going to run clear water through it the whole process you probably want about 45 seconds not more than that of uh, running water and engine flushing coolant through it. So there we go, that's long enough for the engine flush. Now we're going to go to, that's clear water, you can see the clear water. And if you have a look in the, in the engine grate under here, this will turn from soap into clear water shortly. See that starting to come through clear? Okay, now another very, very important step. Leave, once you disconnect the water. We now, if you have a look at the back, rev it. And that takes all the water out of the engine. And bang, take the key off. That's now flushed. And we've taken all the salt water, uh, the salt and everything out of the engine. We've run some clear water through after the um, flushing detergent. Uh, that's that next step. So after that, we turn the ski off and I'll show you the next step. Okay, step two. So this time we put the detergent in, Salt Captain detergent. I've just added a um, normal garden hose nozzle at the end. And the ladder, we've elevated the ski. Um, so we're going to give it all a, this is just going to, Put a bit of soap onto it pretty much. So we're going to soap down the whole ski. And also when we go to the back of the ski, it's really important to get up underneath the grate, the intake grate, because obviously sand gets up under there as well. So we do that to the whole ski, um, both sides obviously, 
If you've had life jackets or anything else you want to take salt off, um, you give them also a bit of salt away. Even the anchor, same. We're going to come back and gurney all this, um, but there's one little step um, which I'll show you in a second. So after you've run, you've put that on the um, ski you've covered in the detergent. A little trick, a bit of Jojo knowledge, little trick is just wipe down your sounders. If you come around this side, if you come around this side and just give your sounders a wipe down. And that little trick there, a bit of Jojo knowledge, cover your sounders because we're going to use a gurney soon and there's electricals behind here. So that just helps, you know, uh, from water getting, I know they're waterproof anyway, but you've got electrical terminals, so you just cover both sounders or one if you've got one. There we go. Uh, so that's step two, and I'll show you step three, which is just gurning down um, the whole ski. It's quite easy with a gurney compared to a hose. Um, we didn't go fishing yesterday, so it's not like there's fish and stuff all over it. It's a social run, but when I do go out fishing, the gurney helps a lot because you've got you know bits of bait and bits of fish and blood and everything. So a normal hose doesn't you know take you hours to scrub it. So gurney's a really good trip trick. Um, so I'll show you that in a second. Yeah, that one's good. Step three in my favourite is gurneying down the ski and, and the life jackets and everything. Um, so a hose, much better than a hose, so much quicker. And you can see now that I've got the, um, the covers on the Garmin on the sounders, I can hose away in that area. You can, with the CDs, you can take the um, Esky off the back if you, if you want. Um, like I said, yesterday was just a social ride, so it's not too dirty anyway. Again, you want to get right up under the intake grate, get that all clean. Right up underneath. You might be able to see it better from the other side. And um, yeah, right up underneath there. Um, likewise, with the um, life jackets and everything, we'll give them a light spray. And anything that got sand or, or salt on it. Okay, so that's step three. Okay, step four. Um, this one is. We're just going to run a bit of fine bit of water in the engine bay, not too much, not too strong. So you sort of set your set it to a little sprinkle like that at most. Actually, that's even a bit strong, but that's okay. And the idea is we've got the ski on a tilt. We're just trying to get rid of a bit of um, salt that's come through the engine or come into the engine bay. And you want to get right down the back because there's a bit you don't see, and that will drain out. Uh, we're going to leave the cushions off, get these off so it fully dries and we can get a, get a um, towel or something and dry this down as well. Um, some people take off the back deck, that's another, a lot of the experienced fishos and jet ski riders will take the back deck off and clean in un underneath there. I won't do that in today's one, I'm just going to show you what I do as a normal clean. Um, but every third one you probably should take that deck off and maintain underneath there and make sure there's not you know salt and and build up in the back of the ski where you can't see. Um, so that's the four steps. Uh, number five I'll show you shortly. Okay, so fifth and last step for how I clean the ski. We're just going to use the suckermatic. And again, you can get a um, sponge or something or towels and dry it out. I just like to use the suckermatic. So if you have a look in here, the suckermatic uses the hose pressure to suck out all of the uh, water in the foot wells and then if you have a look in there pretty much dry and uh yeah so that's the five steps um to cleaning your jet ski that's the five steps to cleaning your jet ski 
So that's all go, we'll let it dry out in the sun, we'll let the life jackets and the anchor and everything dry out, and that's pretty much it, except for, uh, yeah, so that's my five steps that I like to do. At a very minimum, when you get the ski home, you should flush the engine. You can flush it with just water, you don't need any of the other stuff. I just like to use it, I feel like it takes a bit more of the salt away. As long as you flush the engine for about 30 to 45 seconds, no longer, make sure you don't uh, run water through until you've started the jet ski. And, and when you start the jet ski, it can't run for more than 15 seconds you know, before you get that water going through it. Same process at the end. Um, you wanna turn, take the water off and have the engine still running and make sure that you turn off the engine within 15 seconds of not having water run through it. So I hope you liked a couple of those uh, little tips of what I do to clean the ski. Everyone's got a different technique. Put some comments, like and put some comments down below about what you do. Um, and I'm always looking at better ways to do things as well. I really love the Suckomatic, but a lot of people just use a sponge. Um, I, I think a real cool little trick is putting the Garmin covers on or you sound the cover on. It just lessens the likelihood of water getting in the electrical. So there's a Jojo knowledge tip there. Anyway, have a great day. Okay, so there's a bit of a hack. Uh, there's a bit of a cheat. Step five, um, we use the Suckomatic to get all the water out of the footwells. With the Sea-Doo Fish Pros, um, they've got quite deep footwell so a lot of water goes in it and a lot of people made comments even when I'm out out on the video saying how much water is in the footwells. So here's a cheat. Uh, Anthony from JetLeds has put in this little button here and that is footwell build pumps. So water from this side comes out that side and water from this footwell comes out this side. There's a little cheat. If, if they get blocked you just get the hose. I'll show you that little cheat technique. Um, but yeah, so that's the cheats way of doing um, step five. If you're cleaning the ski and you want to empty the footwell, automatic footwell build pump, so good. Uh, and when you're out on the ski, when I'm out fishing and it's a bit of a rough day and a lot of water comes in, absolutely brilliant. This is one of the best things. Um, I even rate it better than the Minn Kota. And look, bang, there we go. That's sort of be clear. If we have a look in there, there'll be no water. If there's a little bit there, you get a sponge and soak that last bit out. But have a look at that. How good is that? Oh, here's a quick hack. If, you, if your uh, footwell bilge pumps clog up, just get a hose and flush it. Literally, it runs through the line and out the other side. They cross over to the other footwell. So, just run a bit of water through it. And it'll flush out any scales or any debris stuck in it. There should be water coming out through there. Right, let's see if that works now. Okay, I think I said there was five steps and that's cheat for step five the hack with the footwell bilge pumps, but there's step six, bare o'clock. So once it's all cleaned and, and it's all done and you've cleaned all your fishing gear and it's, it's ready to kick back, relax and bare o'clock, cheers.